Modern computation is something that we take advantage of daily. As a result of this, it is quite easy for us to take this power for granted. To better appreciate and understand this power we have at our fingertips, let's go back to Archimedes. Archimedes' method for approximating pi was quite simple. First, a circle was drawn and the diameter was measured. For simplicity, the circles we'll consider will have a diameter of 1 with arbitrary units since this is a computer animation. Archimedes' genius idea was to approximate the circumference of the circle since understanding how to calculate circumference wasn't known at this time. Archimedes' approximation of circumference consisted of drawing a polygon inside the circle with each edge of the polygon touching the circle's edge. Then, the perimeter of the polygon would be calculated and used as the approximate value of the circumference of the circle. In theory, a polygon with more sides would lead to a better approximation of pi. For a rough and rather poor approximation, we start with a triangle. Each side of the triangle is approximately 0.85 in length, so the approximation of pi, or 3 times 0.85, is 2.55. Not a particularly great approximation. Again, we're dividing by 1 here, so we really actually need to do no real division. If we add another side and approximate the circumference with a square, we get that each side is approximately 0.7, or that pi is 2.8. Still not great, but that is still expected. Moving up to a pentagon, a five-sided polygon, we get side lengths of roughly 0.575, making pi approximately 2.875. At the hexagon, we finally reach an approximation of about 3. We see that as we use polygons with more and more sides, our approximation of pi gets better and better as the theory behind approximating the circumference goes. Once we get to roughly a 12-sided polygon, we get the well-known approximation of pi 3.14. Prior to the understanding of power series, this was the predominant way of approximating pi. This is a long and tedious method prone to much error. By performing this method with a computer animation, we are able to eliminate the need to actually measure each side. The computer was automatically doing that for us. Although the computer already helped us speed up this process of approximating pi, the real demonstration of computational power comes when utilizing the knowledge of power series.